picked up this lawnmower for free. See right now I'm trying to start it with a battery. And I think the uh, starter solenoid doesn't work. So I've just been manually uh, connecting this starter here. And you see, it actually turns over not too easily. And the first thing I'm gonna do to maybe help it turn over a little easier is get the clearance on this spark right. You can see it's scraping. See the scraping line. I'm gonna take this off and get that adjusted. Let's see if it spins over any easier. Not really. All right, well, I couldn't find a battery, so I'm gonna take the head off so that there's no compression and we can see if this engine turns over nice. And we'll also get to have a look, see what the actual engine looks like. I want to clean this because this is some major soot. I flipped the mower over and it cranks over a lot easier for some reason. And while I'm under here, I'm just replacing missing bolts and stuff. So I was able to get spark, but I still can't get it to even fire. So I'm gonna try to uh, make the compression a little better. So I'm gonna clean this up probably replace the head gasket as well and we'll see if we can get it to fire up.
So when you make a head gasket like this, it really doesn't need to be perfect because whatever's on the inside will just burn and then it's fine if there's some on the outside. I'm gonna cut this out now. Here's our head with all that head gasket. See there's a really thin spot here, which I'm a little worried about, but I guess we'll see. Okay, so the one I just made, it had too much cardboard on the inside around the valves, so it actually got pulled under the valves, and basically there was no compression. So I just went and took the one from, I have another one with basically the same engine so here we're seeing how much compression it gets originally it had like 40 it's definitely better and then I'll show you that it does have spark Try to start this thing. Oh. It went. Well, I think it's safe to say it runs. I'll uh, probably have to clean the carburetor though. So now I'm gonna try to remove the carburetor, clean it, and then we'll see if it can run on gas. It actually looks very clean in there.
That's leaking a little. Carburetor doesn't seem to be leaking though. All right, let's try to start it here. This thing shoots flames like crazy, so I definitely need to find an exhaust. Maybe if the one that was already on it works, I'll put that on there. Look at all these flames that come out of here though. So I replaced the fuel lines because uh, they were leaking. And now I'm gonna put an exhaust on it, the same one that was already on it. But I'm gonna tap the hole so that this nice new bolt fits. And the old one doesn't even fit. I'm adding spacers between the front frame and the back frame because I don't think the lawn mower belt is tight enough.
try to adjust this uh, shifter so that it actually matches. And I think all I have to do is loosen these bolts here and slide it up or down. Or reverse might actually work now. So you can hear it backfiring a lot and I think that's because there's air in the gas line so I'll probably just remove this filter I mean who cares and then put a shorter line on so that air can't get trapped like that All right, so it runs great. It dries pretty good. I still need to replace the uh, starter solenoid. And I'm trying to figure something out for this exhaust because it only has one bolt holding it in. So the exhaust that was on it doesn't really work. So I have this thing, which is just a pipe. And maybe I can like cut it further up and then weld that on there. Or this one might work a little better. All right, let's take this old relay out.
All right, so the starter relay works. I think it's out of gas right now. But you can see now it can start on its own without that thing. And I want to take the blade off and sharpen it and balance it. I think it's a little unbalanced. It's wobbling all over the place. So let's do that. Okay, so I don't have a welder I can use, but I'm thinking I'll drill a hole through these two tubes, which are inside each other, put a bolt and nut to hold it together, and then this can attach to this. So that's what I'll do. I want to put some like metal tape on this, seal it up a little. All right, we're gonna fire it up and see if it's any quieter. And we'll also watch for smoke and stuff.
So there's like a little hole in the uh, exhaust. I'm actually just gonna put a strap on that right now. Hopefully that fixes it. So the only thing left is I might add a button here between this wire and ground and that, if you push that, it'd shut it off. But it seems to shut off fine if you just lower the gas all the way down. So, let's see about that. 